solar chod rig. I'm going to talk you through how to use it and how to tie it. It's a very, very simple rig. It can be very overcomplicated sometimes, but in reality, it's a very simple rig and it will catch you carp anywhere. I don't like fishing it in very high weed. I think there's better rigs for that. I do like fishing it on silk weed and in low lying weed and very deep silt. Fishing it in helicopter style, which is perfect. Our chod material is called the Stiffy and it's absolutely fantastic. It works brilliantly for the hook link, but also is a great boom section. So if you are fishing a hinge stiff rig, which effectively is a chod rig with a boom, then this is the perfect hook link for you. We've got it in 20 and 25 pound. So let me show you how to tie the chod rig now and all the components needed. Simply cut yourself off six to eight inches of the stiffy material. I'm using the 20 pound version here. I just like the way this acts. The 25 pound is still brilliant. And I also use that if I run it really, really stiff and I'm gonna be casting a long way. I actually use the 20 pound for the actual chod hook link and I use the 25 pound for the boom section. Just makes it that little bit stiffer. So like I say, cut six to eight inches off. Get yourself an apex chod hook. I'm using a size five. So take your hook. Take your hook link material, and as you'll see, it's got a natural curve going this way, and that's the way I want the curve to sit. So I actually leave it this way round, and then through the front of the eye, I come up, and I leave maybe two inches, and then very, very simple knotless knot. I go down about six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the seventh turn, I just pinch it, and I push it back through. And then you're left with the tag end like that, then simply grab yourself a hook ring swivel or a ring, whichever way you want to use it. I'm using a hook ring swivel. Put it on like so and then bend this back over and then poke it back through the back of the eye and pull it fairly tight. So you end up with a quite a small loop like so. Then I fold the main hook link out of the way and I cut off and I leave about 10 mil. Now, as you can see, that loop is quite small and where that's quite small and you've got 10 mil tag, you've got a blob the end of the tag. So get yourself your lighter, burn the end, and then with your thumb, you blob that through. And then you leave about three to five mil gap, and then pull that back down, and that will lock against the back of the eye, leaving you a lovely loop. So for me, I'm more than happy with about an inch and a half to two inches of chod. I do believe that once it goes into the silt or into the weed, a two inch chod will not actually be two inches bolt upright off the bottom. You've got a nice curve into it as well. A lot of, lot of big fish get caught on three or four inch chod rigs. So be aware that although it might look really long when it's cast out and it's settled into the sediment or into the weed, it's actually not very, very high off the bottom. Because this hook link is very stiff, you don't have to do any complicated knots. A simple two or three turn blood knot. Take yourself a size 11 flexi ring swivel, place it through the small eye and then pull it down. I'll leave maybe an inch and a half is about my go-to. Then simply fold the hook link over and then like I say, a two turn blood knot. One, two, and then pinch it all together. But once that's gone round twice, you simply pass it back through the loop that you've just made and you pull that down nice and tight. And then ideally you want to just knead it down. So pull the hook link down, pull the tag end, Get it as nice and neat as possible. Don't just yank it. Then get yourself a hook puller. And on the loop end, you put the hook so it doesn't pop out. And then if you've got another one, fantastic. If you haven't, just use your fingers and then you pull it nice and tight, like so. Once you've done that, cut off the tag end, leave in approximately two or three mil. And then I always blob the end of these and that beds perfectly against the knot. So don't ever worry about a two-turn blood knot if you blob the end, it won't ever slip out. Now, very simply, once I've got that done, I'll just give it an extra pull just to take any of the stretch out and that will straighten any kinks, anything out at all. Unhook it and as you'll notice now, that is dead straight. But with the chod rig, you actually don't want it to be dead straight. You need a curve into it. Imagine the hook where it's coming out the front of the eye. I want that to carry that curve on. So with thumb and forefinger, you simply make the curve. Be neat with this, make it, make it perfect. As you can see, that is a lovely curve in there. So there is the chod rig, absolutely fantastic hooking capabilities. Doesn't matter what way the carp comes in, it will want to spin and hook at the bottom lip. It's just so perfectly suited for it. Uh, Sub-Zero is absolutely spot on for it. Just runs up and down the line. Doesn't matter whether you're fishing it six inches from the lead, whether you're fishing it six foot from the lead, it will always present itself perfectly. So it doesn't matter where you fish, you can cast out knowing you're gonna be fishing perfectly every single time. So that's the rig. I'll attach a hook bait, then I'm ready to go.
grab a pop-up. They have to be very buoyant with chod rigs because they have to stick bolt upright all the time. This rig really only works for a pop-up rig. Grab some floss, take about four or five inches off of that. Then very simple, through the eye of the hook ring swivel, double it over, hook that on, pull it down, and then pull it nice and neatly down the barrel of the swivel. So you've got absolutely loads of movement still. The swivel isn't impeding the rig in any way, shape or form. Cut off so you've got five mil left. Once again, grab the lighter, burn that down. And when you get to the end, blob it in. And that in a nutshell is the rig. Simply slide that on to your Sub-Zero leader or even if you're fishing naked straight through with just your main line and you are ready to go and catch some carp.